Okay, so he's not a real a power T right there. That's a power T because the fullback and one of his guards, maybe his power guards, but you know, because most of the guards are, three of the guards are, they're like inside linebacker size, and uh, the two power guards are a little bit closer to the to the to the, to the uh, statues uh, of the granite uh, giants that play up front. But uh, they're still probably about 25 pounds lesser. And the other ones are probably like 35 or something like that lesser. They might just be maybe just 10 pounds. You know, I'm trying to equate it with real football. So these can hold their own. That's their challenge is to hold up here. No matter how many blockers are coming down, hold up there. Even if you get them for a yard or two or three. Don't get pushed back. You got your linebackers. They're gonna, they're gonna back you with your power, either through the gap or through a, a line directly behind you. And two of them play. They play a four-two. My concern is to control and contain the wide receivers because they can. They are they are, they are active inside as well as outside. Uh, of course, slanting with a uh, parallel slant. Uh, so uh, they're not like the tight end. If you have a tight end, he's only eligible out here, even though he lines up in here. But with a tight end, you know, he can line back uh, uh, a certain amount of distance, uh, under five five yards, so he could come out and open a hole in that zone. And then a quarterback could roll behind him, or either a wide receiver would come in the slot, you turn him. Had him set in the slot. He could, he could ride. He could, uh, you know, open a hole in the screen. So, uh, but you're gonna see a lot of stationary uh, covered ones. You're gonna see at least two. You might see two on one side. You might see two on one side too. So, uh, but if you do, uh, I mean, you might see three. You might see two on one side. It's illegal to line three on one side. You can only line two. If you have three, there's one, but you'll have to take a linebacker, your outside linebacker out, and your safety would do a lot of, uh, you know, covering and a lot of playing the run outside. Uh, you won't have that lot outside linebacker, and you might have to take an extra linebacker outside, or either play a another uh, defensive back who's smaller. You know, everybody's in size with their challenges. Tailback has an option to line up right here, a line up right there, line up right there, line up right there. He can come slat into the west wing, east wing, you know, uh, shift the blocker, quarterback, or shift the wide receiver in front. You know, uh, tight end is not in there. I got two wide receivers, so, um, you know, so anyway, uh, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot. Uh, there's, there's not too much, but there's enough to learn. You have to learn about the restriction and about the seventh step. Uh, either line up, uh, you know, on a press with the uh, uh, defensive backs, uh, safeties, or linebackers line up, you know, in a in a press right there.